don't let don't let people get you you know off of your a game you know you have to remember the enemy can use different people he can use machines he can use cars he can use the cup to spill over in your car and make a mess in your cup holder you know he can use the you know the assignments that your boss you know wanted you to do but you forgot to do it or she told you a deadline but then she moved it up quicker he can use all kind of stuff but are you going to complain about it or are you going to pray about it you got to decide for yourself so i'm gonna leave you with that don't complain about it pray about it because god got your back it's 2020 y'all like let's get let's get lit for jesus welcome 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 back to my youtube channel this is Jaleesa Cogdell and different scenery today um I'm at work so I'm on my lunch break and I just felt the holy spirit just um prompt me to do my money motivations in the car um I normally am in my house like just you know in the backdrop and everything like that and the peace and quiet of my home but I just felt this just urging um that this money motivation will just be talking about praying in power um because i feel like this season 2020 so many people have 2020 goals they've set resolutions that you know they have vision boards you know but um how about just praying in the power like walking in the full authority that god has given to you um even on your job like i know for me like i literally speak life before i walk into a job just because i know that the enemy is ready <laughs> he's ready at the door he's ready when you clock in he's ready on your lunch break he He's ready to distract you, to pull your focus off of what God has already told you about your day. So what I recommend for you all in the morning is to pray in power. So that way, when you go to your job, despite whatever the enemy throws your way, like I literally have been tested like, uh, let's see, like years. Every job I've had, I've always been tested in the area of patience and tested in the area of, you know, um, working with people that don't, you know know god you know like to the full capacity that god would like them to so there's always a test there's always a trial there's always a situation a circumstance where god wants you to pray in power so we're gonna do that today heavenly father we love you we thank you for this day god thank you for the sunshine in january thank you for just the great weather god like thank you that we're not we're not in the place where you know we're, we're freezing god we're, we have shelter we have a place to sleep we have you know food to eat god and we're able to pray to you in power so god have your way in this moment lord we trust you for all things we trust you for just a a, a sound mind in 2020 we trust you for clarity we trust you for understanding and we trust you for patience we trust you for building our character so that we're always spiritually mature in jesus most precious name Amen. Okay, so I'm Jalisa Cogdo. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. I know I have a lot of new subscribers in the past couple of days. So God bless you guys. Thanks for joining in on the Butterfly Family. We talk about Jesus here. The Holy Spirit leads the entire service. We pray in as we just did. And then God just has his way. So today, pray in power. So tip number one, pray continually. And that's in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 pray continually pray without ceasing don't stop praying whenever i'm at a job um i still respect you know the rules that my job does have you know of, of not you know allow my my belief in the lord jesus christ to you know be put on someone else because the holy spirit is a gentleman so i'm not gonna force anyone to believe you know because the lord doesn't do that to us so why would i you know so i like to pray in tongues um in my mind um i pray in tongues you know just as I'm talking, like, I could be singing a song to the baby, like, I can be like, um, hey, if you're happy and you know, and clap your hands, but in my mind, I am praying in tongues, you know, um, I love to, you know, just pray in power, I'm a teacher, by the way, <laughs> I'm a teacher for the babies and infants, um, but if for you, maybe, you know, you are a stockbroker, <laughs> maybe you're a magazine editor, you know, maybe you're a designer, you know, maybe you're at Chick-fil-A, maybe you're at McDonald's, maybe, you know, you're at a mail, mail office, you know, whatever God has placed you at, he wants you to be used by him. So you have to be his light, despite what the enemy throws your way. There's a coworker, you know, that, you know, says something that's negative or just irritating or just, you know, in a tone that you know would not be normally how they would be. Or maybe your child, you know, that you're taking care of or, 
you know, the assignments that you have. Like, something is just, like, off that day. Like, it's not how it normally would be. That's how you know you're being tested by the enemy because he's trying to get your mind to be focused on other things. Like, for me, I speak in the atmosphere. It's going to be a great day. Even if I'm frustrated, even if, even if you know, I'm like, Lord, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. You know, like, even if I'm like, okay, it's going to be a great day. And then there's times where you, as a believer in Christ, pray about when you need to just take a breather and take a rest. Like, for me, there's times where I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk to my, you know, boss and say, okay, today is the day where I just need to rest my mind, my body. Is it okay if I leave early today? You know, just communicate, you know. Um, I'm really big on communicating. So, communicate, you know, um, I need to rest my mind today. I just, my heart and my mind, I need to go home and just pray. Like, I'm very honest with my boss. So, um, I like to say, I need to go home and just take a breather and by the grace of god she said okay um i'll try to get you out as soon as i can please i said okay no whatever's convenient for you because i'm asking you this so what's convenient for you works for me um so i do that so you have to be wise you know and then you pray like okay lord is this decision okay with you so you pray to god say is this okay with you then you go and talk to your boss or your, your supervisor you know what have you um then there's praying for your coworkers. i do this every day you have to, <laughs> because enemy is going to try to attack everybody uh, around you. If he can't get you to, you know, submit to his lies, if he can't get you to side with him for, you you know, like, to be angry or to gossip about somebody um, or to, you know, just, just fuss about, you know, the job that you're at, like, you're complaining all the time. If he can't get you to do that, then he's going to use other people around you. <laughs> to make you feel irritated or frustrated or annoyed or um try to make their he's gonna use people at your job to try to make you side with them like yeah you're right this job sucks blah, blah, blah. when no it doesn't god gave you this job you pray for this job <laughs> so i've done that many times i repent say lord i love my job like i repent to you lord like, no just because i had a bad day doesn't mean that this one bad lemon is gonna mess up my whole lemonade because i have lemonade at my job you know what i mean so you have to remind yourself like no 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 enemy i rebuke you in the name of jesus like i'm going to finish this course finish this test and pass this test i'm not going to you know um, belittle, you know, myself. I'm not going to depreciate, you know, what I have. I'm not going to devalue what I have. God, I'm going to grow in this season that you currently have me in. Yes, sunlight, can we talk about the glow? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that's one thing that I recommend, um, to just pray and power at your job. Um, number two, read your word. I love to read my Bible, even if it's just the daily verse, um, on the Bible apps. Um, read your word. So that's what I'm going to do, you know, while I'm on break. Read your word, you know, read it over and then speak it over your life. If you have a journal, you know, write that down and then like, you know, read that over to yourself. I like to write it down because I remember it better when I write it down in my own writing. Um, but what works for you works for you. If you have to say it seven times to remember it, praise the Lord. If you have to pray out the word, do that. You just say, God, in the name of Jesus, you know, I am who you call me to be. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You know, just, just pray out the scripture verse, you know, like pray out, you know, I will pray without ceasing God. Like I will trust in you, Lord, with all my heart and my mind and my soul. I will, you know, acknowledge you father in all of my ways and, and you will lead my, my path straight. Like you will direct me, God, you know, like you have to just pray these things out you know just be like you know and my god shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory through christ jesus my god will supply my needs so this job doesn't define who i am this job is building up my character to be the person that god wants me to be for his glory but my story is not my job this is just a temporary earthly position where god is building up my faith in him he's building up my 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 prayer warrior he's building up my you know my character so that I won't get attitude or I won't get in my feelings if something doesn't go my way I, I know now how to just channel towards him and let him do the rest girl I, this morning let me tell you I said honey this is gonna be a great day and I've been saying that all day and it's been a phenomenal day you're like I I mean I'm just so full of joy like oh my gosh I had a banging lunch I had your alfredo y'all some salad you know what I'm saying like it's been, like even this morning my cup i put my cup in my little cup holder thing right here in the like maybe a third of it spilled out this morning see the enemy's trying then see he wanted me to you know get frustrated and get upset like oh the car is dirty blah blah, blah. goodbye i said i'm gonna clean it later and i did i went and got some paper towels in the bathroom honey and i cleaned it all up i 
and it, all of it's in my little lunch bag now and i'm gonna put it in the trash can when i go back inside but i'm telling you you're gonna be tested at your job you're gonna be tested and god wants us to understand that we are to pray in power we are to use his word against all spiritual wickedness in high places because the enemy's gonna try it girl he's gonna try it at your job especially you're in a new year you're transitioning you know you want you know newness this year you want to go forth in that and all that god has called you to he gonna try you <laughs> but you have to be bigger than the circumstance because your god is greater than any situation that's at hand of you like that's a light affliction to god like that's a that's a small thing to god so if that's a small thing to god it should be a small thing to you don't let don't let people get you you know off of your a game you know you have to remember the enemy can use different people he can use machines he can use cars he can use the cup to spill over in your car and make a mess in your cup holder you know he can use the you know the assignments that your boss you know wanted you to do but you forgot to do it or she told you a deadline but then she moved it up quicker he can use all kind of stuff but are you going to complain about it or are you going to pray about it you got to decide for yourself. So I'm going to leave you with that. Don't complain about it. Pray about it. Because God got your back. It's 2020, y'all. Like, let's get let's get lit for Jesus. Like, we're his lights. Let's be lit for him. Let's be the examples of him. Forgive people. That's what I do. Forgive people. And I show love. And I'm going to do that regardless. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. I don't need this job. Because God is my provider. But I choose to work as unto the Lord because God has presented this job to me. He's led me to this job because he knew there was a need of his life. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. God bless you. I pray to see you guys next Monday. I'm on my renovations and I may not be in my car next time. I don't know where the Lord will have me, but he prompted me to do this video and I believe his word went forth because I don't have no idea what I just said. So I'm praying for y'all and thanks for all these new subscribers. I love you guys. You're on the Butterfly Family for Life. So make sure you like, subscribe to this video and share it. If you this encouraged you, girl, share it. I pray it blesses you guys. Like, share it. Um, but let God have his way in your day. Let him have his way in your day. Not the enemy. Re rebuke him, honey. Resist him, honey. Let the Lord have his way in your day. I'm praying for y'all. And I'll see you guys next Monday. I have super exciting news coming up, too. Like, God has been doing some cool things already. So I'm going to let you guys know that soon once holy spirit allows me to release it um but until then thanks for your prayers thanks for your comments your likes um thanks for just you know being here see y'all next time enjoy your day this sunlight y'all oh make sure you get some you know sun today go outside enjoy yourself take a walk <laughs>